Mike Easterly, Mark's cousin. I'm honored to be a part of this uh, event tonight to honor him. Let me pre preface my remarks by saying that my wife, Jerry, helped me as I gathered my thoughts about Mark. She loved and respected him very much, so it just seemed right to include her in the process. I'll never forget the day Mark was born, and when he was brought home from the hospital, his mother, Virginia, let me hold him. I think it was the first baby I ever held. He was my little first cousin, but through the years, he increasingly became my brother. And through the years, maybe the thing he and I liked to do best was to encarve a good bottle of wine and sit and talk. We could talk for hours. Mark loved good food, especially enchiladas and margaritas at Joe T. Garcia's. <laughs> Biscuit and ribs yeah. at Salt Lake down in Driftwood, Texas. Chicken and dumplings at the Howland Park Cafeteria. <laughs> he loved sodas and sandwiches at the Highland Park soda shop. He loved rock and roll. He loved good books, loved to talk about Hemingway and John Steinbeck and James Joyce and Emily Dickinson and Gabriel Garcia Marquez. He could talk about it. He loved it. Got his master's degree, went into teaching in his 50s. And he loved his students. Taught in college and high school. He loved strong espresso in the morning and good wine in the afternoon and evening. He loved movies. Scorsese and Tarantino and Spielberg. But what he loved most was his family. He loved his brother Gary. He and Mark are two rowdy brothers. And when they were young, they were not choir boys. <laughs> A book or two about their exploits could be written. <laughs> Maybe X-rated. <laughs> They had their ups and downs like most brothers, but they were joined at the hip and would take a bullet for each other. And boy, did he love his girls. He met Linda in London in film school and she became the love of his life. But they made it back to the States and later were married and he loved Jamie, his pride and joy. Mark, while you lived, you really lived. While you lived, you really loved. We're going to miss you something huge. We cannot imagine a world without you in it. Rest in peace, dear, dear Mark. Well, thank you very much for being here tonight on behalf of Linda and on behalf of Jamie and the family. Thank you for being here. And Mark, just know that everybody in here loves you. We'll always love you. Thank you.